Dregs, do you believe this team, the way it's built now, they're better equipped to win that kind of boring, yeah. neutral zone, territorial kind of game, the one we saw last night? Uh, not yet. <laughs> um, I'm not yet, to be fair, because, you know, there's still enough of late where, you know, they'll, they'll give up a, a series of, of bad goals. Like, they still have a little bit of vulnerability in their game that, I mean, I... I guess until you get into the playoffs again, Frankie, to, to just further make my point, how can you be sure? I liked their game last night. I didn't watch it entirely. I watched clips and, and everything and doing my follow-up uh, this morning. So I didn't watch it from beginning to end. I was traveling. Um, but I don't know that you could be overly critical for, uh, of their play in that game, could you? I wouldn't be. No, me, I wouldn't no, be. That, that looked to me like a team like Colorado who knows how to win and knows how to win in different ways, just found a way to lock it down. They found a way to just up the ante defensively and almost seemed to choke Toronto out at times. So, uh, I, but in saying all that, I, I don't think that the Maple Leafs aside from being disappointed or not getting the two points, I don't think they walked out of that game and said, geez, we let one slept. I don't. I think no. that's an acknowledgement of a game well played where, you know, one team just found a way to get that extra point. Yeah, I, I see it the same way. I mean, there's been a lot of focus on the shots on goal and the Leafs only got 18 on net, but yeah. Colorado only had 29. It's not like they got outshot yeah. 48 to 18. Yeah. Like it, sure. it was, I think Colorado had to fight for space. They had to fight for opportunities, Thought both goalies played well. And, you know, ultimately the Leafs can, can at least hang their hat on that. And yeah, if you're Colorado, yeah. you know, Colorado's getting cooking. I mean, I think most people understand that. If you're out west, watch yourself. Like, if they're starting to look like the real deal Holyfield again. And that, yeah. that could be concerning for teams out west.